The overall goal of this procedure is to perform antibody staining on C. elegans. To do this, nematodes are rinsed, spread on slides, and carefully compressed between two adhesive slides, which are then frozen on dry ice. Next, the slides are separated to crack open the nematodes and immediately placed in fixative. The nematodes are then stained using standard antibody staining techniques. Analysis by fluorescent microscopy reveals successful antibody staining of semi-intact nematodes. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like fixation of intact nematodes, is that it minimizes chemical treatment of the sample. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because preparing the slides and nematodes is somewhat tricky. Demonstrating the procedure will be myself and Rito Basu, a graduate student from my laboratory. To prepare plates of nematodes for staining, begin by placing a flat piece of metal on dry ice to chill it. Using distilled water and a glass pipette, rinse worms grown on one 60 mm NGM plate with bacteria into a 1.5 mL microfuge tube. The worms can be synchronized or mixed ages, but avoid using plates with many dowers, which are difficult to crack, or starved worms, which will increase autofluorescence. Using the same glass pipette, rinse the worms three to four times with distilled water to free them of bacteria. Then, to collect mostly adults, let them sit on the bench for three to five minutes. After the worms have sat